Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to discuss uh, about Suckless software and give you an idea of why you should care about what it is and stuff like that. So Suckless is basically a coding philosophy, uh, means software that sucks uh, less. And uh, they are trying to uh, solve problems restricting the numbers of lines of code that are required uh, to, to solve the problem itself. So you end up with very minimal uh, programs that uh, often you need to patch uh, to accommodate your needs. So patching means you have the source codes, you have the modifications, and then you put them together and you have your, you know, tailored uh, uh, software solution. So what uh, I think about that is that it is also uh, under an educational point of view. Uh, so you can learn how to use solve tasks by um, uh, just uh, uh, by learn uh, the code since it is so limited, it's, uh, it doesn't require so much documentation uh, as in general big projects uh, do. And yeah, you can uh, uh, tinker with it and that's how generally people learn. So it's not by studying on textbook, but modifying stuff. And uh, Suckless really push to modify uh, the source code. Um, some of their softwares, uh, as uh, DistroTube mentioned in uh, a video that I will link down below later on, uh, that uh, sometimes is not modular, so it's minimal but not modular, and uh, a lot of programs, for instance DWM, uh, is not only uh, a tiling window manager, it's also a panel, so the thing that comes up and the keyboard shortcut handler. This means that, uh, I mean, there is a trade-off between simple and minimal. So simple uh, is like less lines of code, whereas uh, minimal uh, can be in terms of functionality. Let's say BSPWM is a tiling window manager like DWM, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't have a panel or a keyboard shortcut handler, but it has more lines of code because uh, oftentimes uh, making things modular uh, requires over engineering uh, because you need to create a clean interface and uh, this means extra lines of code. So there are trade-offs between the two. And uh, yeah, I, I love what the Suckless guys are doing. I really support their project and I think they made a great contribution. It's something that's usable. Uh, I mean, uh, out of the gecko, I think doesn't. I don't think that it requires so much patching. So if you are over patching uh, suckless utilities, then you are using the wrong software. That's uh, uh, that's my view on the matter. But sometimes uh, you need uh, to overcomplicate stuff. Uh, because if you want to optimize, uh, you generally require more lines of code, uh, or if you want to th do things more modular. Let's say I am a digital uh, designer, so probably uh, doesn't will uh, I, I will create another analogy later. But for instance, to increase the speed of a system, let's say a CPU then what you do is you uh, divide the timing path in the middle and you it's called pipeline so you increase the pipeline stages which it's more hardware and more stuff added to the circuit which are unnecessary but they uh, optimize speed so you decrease latency for speed you over complicate the system to have a better system overall uh, in terms of software i don't know if uh, I yeah I can do like for example if you are creating a recursive function of the Fibonacci series, the the simplest solution is the one that consume uh, more memory because you end up stacking uh, the result and then computing everything uh, at the end. So uh, there are better implementation. For instance, the Fibonacci recursion, which requires more lines of code. Uh, 
so sometimes having more stuff uh, it's better uh, to solve a problem more efficiently having said that uh, I think that uh, suckless software is very good I mean you don't uh, uh, see and uh, there are no performance issues probably a bit on the surf browser there are uh, other browsers that uh, load faster but uh, yeah having said that uh, I think they're doing an amazing job uh, it's uh, it's very good and I think that uh, yeah people should try it uh, more so having said that thank you for sticking around uh, remember to subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a comments with your feedback on the topic uh, thanks a lot bye